Hello there everyone and welcome back to Fallout 4. We are back in Vault 81 today and we are going to try, 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 try. This is one of those vaults like you came out of, right? That's right, Preston. That's exactly right. All right, I don't care about the board game. Caps are going to be nice to have. The plan today is to pop some purple mentats to boost our or great mentats. To get ourselves now let's see is there anything else I can do for I could boost just straight up boost my charisma did I want to do that though yeah it's two levels before I get something really useful and I don't think that's the I don't think that's the perk I want to start investing uh, points into right now. <sighs> Got more ammo already taken care of. Could get more caps in containers. Could start picking next tier locks. That could also be useful. Rifle damage could be nice. Rifles and shotguns. I think that'll do for now. All right, let's see if we can open this thing up. All right. Okay. Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. All right. Vault 111. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? Yeah, looking to trade. Just looking to do a little trading? Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? And Static. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. <laughs> for newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. Yeah, help a vault dweller. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? Excuse me. Before you arrived, she did say she was from Vault 111, and she's in possession of a working pit boy. Is that so? Nice. I'm going to allow it. Edwards, open the door and make the announcement. Officer Edwards and I will meet you at the entrance. Nice. Score. Straight into Vault 81. This is going to be very nice. Ooh. Dog meat! Yeah, maybe. But no way I'm sampling any more for free. Come on, Gwen. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right Another now. Another outsider. If they don't know that, we'll just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine, I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. We've never encountered a fellow vault dweller. Is this Vault 111 you mentioned still operational? <sighs> it's a grave. It's more like a graveyard now. Almost no survivors. Christ, I'm sorry. What happened there? Um, cryo malfunction. Sure, why not? They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods. But something malfunctioned. Oh my god. 
All those lives lost due to some malfunction? That's unacceptable. I suppose we've been lucky. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Why the um, isolation? Why do you keep yourselves so isolated? Why not? We have warm beds, clean clothes, a solid roof over our heads. Our food and water are radiation free. We don't deal with the elements or raiders. We're safe here. And for some, that safety and stability is what counts. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Interaction is good. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. Now? I have work to do. Ma'am, what about her friend and the dog? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If she's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure she's chosen her friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Well, Preston, you're about to have a good day. Get to go visit a vault. What do you think about that? Okay. That's enough of that, thank you. Okay, let's have a few words with some of the locals. Another outsider? What they let you in for? Hmm, trade. Here to do a little trading. We'll make it quick. We don't need your kind lingering around here. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm a fellow vault dweller. I don't care where you're from. Mm -hmm. It's not here. Yeah. Insular Grump. Stay out of trouble. Yeah. Excuse me. Hey, an outsider with a vault suit. There's something you don't see every day. Don't say anything, but man, I'd love to be out there. Yeah. <sighs> why not go? If you want to leave, why don't you just go? Wish it was that easy. It's scary leaving the vault. And the Commonwealth? It's all so unpredictable. Yeah, that's true. Just be prepared. Take some preparation. I'd learn how to use a gun, and be ready to use it before I went out there. I've never even touched a gun. Now, I can't even say if our security has seen any real combat, but with the hours we're working these days, I'm not even sure where I'd find the time to practice. All right. Yeah, why the long hours? Why the long hours? We're just making sure this roof over our heads doesn't cave in on us. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Hmm. Well, I don't want to keep you, and I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go do a little uh, exploring. Considering it's radiation, impressive. Hey, Your pit boy ever act up on you? My Oh. Ashes, where are you going? Somebody Ash. got their maid working overtime. Damn it. Karen's not going to like this. Okay. Huh. So you're the reason the patrols are double today. Ah, uh, yeah, and you're just obnoxious. Security? Hello, Officer Edwards. Hi. Now that you made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. Word. That's a thing I can definitely do. Can't blame you for being careful. Going down. We'll go get the dime tour. And from there we can, uh... Yeah get the cat and maybe even do the vault 81 storyline mission cuz why not I should get something to drink while I'm here though hopefully they have public water fountains and here comes the kid right on schedule hi there hey lady are you really from the commonwealth yes yes i am yes i am I knew it! Hey, I 
can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. <laughs> sure. Okay. Give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes! I forgot to show you <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help but indulging him. We'll it's just cute. Besides, it kind of ends with the cat, so... This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. Yeah. Good to know. Good to know, Austin. Thanks. See, I told you I know things. <laughs> Next stop, the overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. Yes, I have. Preston's just given his wander around. I love how they're just sort of giving us the eye. The overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules. Oh, she's nice. I like her. She seems nice. Forces rules. Does she take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of the people who break the rules. But she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice, though. You'll like them. <laughs> Okay. So this is where I can get. Austin, I see you're showing our guests from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grand says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. Cool. Cool. Rest of the food. How is their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Granny makes me comb it. <laughs> Stream of consciousness. There's the barber. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. <laughs> yeah, oh, all right. Yeah, good if to know. If I ever need a new hairstyle, I'll come here. I hate getting my hair cut. Next stop, it's Grand. Let's go oh, see. Hold on, is that? I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Yes. All right. That's just not something I desperately need, but apparently something I'm getting anyways. Man, purified water just sitting around like that. Oh, nice. I can harvest these. Hi, Grand. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering her. I'm helping her. Hmm. That's Grand. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Pensky. She acts all grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. <laughs> this is our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. All right, yeah, nothing from outside? You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Grand grows it all here. She's really smart. Hmm. Next stop, Miss Kate. Okay. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. Yeah. No, I did. Grumpy face. You're leaving. Well, thanks for taking my tour. No. Oh, jeez, no. 
Hi, Austin. Grant says I'm a bottomless pit when it comes to food. Apparently, I didn't quite go far enough. Fast enough. Dag nabbit. Oh well. Well, let's go have a word with the uh, little girl. Who has apparently lost her cat. I'll have to tell Gwen I'll be needing more fertilizer soon. Yeah. Hi. Talk to my mom if you want hey. anything fixed. Wait there. Okay. Aaron Combs. Well, hello. Excuse me, ma'am. Have you seen my cat? Um, what happened? Oh, yeah, I saw it. I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hey, I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. There we go. Okay. That was important. <laughs> For an outsider, you look like you fit right in. Yeah, that'd be because I have a vault suit. Don't you know? She's looking pretty bad in there. Hmm? Interesting. Dr. Forsyth is asking to see you. Can you have a moment? Dr. Forsyth. Okay. Which one is the doctor for which one is Dr. Forsyth? Okay, the doctor is down the hall at the other end, I think. Yes. That's the classroom. This is the hospital. Welcome, welcome. Greetings. I hope I'm not being presumptuous. But I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples? Even just a blood sample? Yeah. What for? Why do you need medical samples? It's for my research. The people of Vault 81 have been genetically isolated from the Commonwealth for many generations. I'm trying to determine what the genetic variation is between the two populations. Okay. Sure, why not? Sure. You can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat. And I'll draw some blood. Okay. Sit there. This will only take a sec. Okay. Now I just need to find some water and get some food in me. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. Okay. You're that wanderer from the Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsyth with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? Oh. Nope. No, I'm good for now. But I need some supplies, Doctor. Great. Let's take a look. See how much the supplies cost? Probably more than I can afford right now. 181 per stim pack? Yeah, no. Alright, let's rock and roll. So last stop, let's go, okay, well I guess we go get the cat. Although I do need to, I wish, I need to find a water fountain, that's what I need. There were lots of water fountains in Vault 111. So one would assume there would be something similar in here. Okay. Watch yourself. Yeah, yeah, I will. Oh, hey, bathrooms. That'll do. This one is from uh, Teacher David. Ironically, the end of the world. Oh, there's a radio nearby. Okay, apparently I don't get to drink from those taps. There we are, one water fountain. Keep drinking. 
Ah, uh, pure fresh vault water. There we go. Now I just need to take care of food. Okay. There we go. And sleep would be the last thing I need. Question is, is there a bed? Nope, that bed is owned. Yes. Okay, I think I know where I can go and get some sleep. There is that room that eventually I need more seeds. becomes we keep them my all. room in here. And it's where? Where was it? It was over by the depot, wasn't it? Oh. I guess it's just a supply storage room right now. Darn it all, they're trying to get my account jammed. Alright, I'll just have to do without for now. Let's head upstairs, let's go find this cat. It should not be a huge chore, thank goodness. The lack of sleep will be a little annoying, but... It's too bad I didn't get to finish that tour. But, that's okay. Not a big deal, he got my caps, it's all good. Okay, exit zone, let's go find ourselves a kitty cat. We had a trade Stay out of trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chillax. Okay. Let's try not to get in trouble with a Yao guy. A giant mutated bear monster, also known as. Hey, some traders. What a surprise. Well, as long as it's not a... Yeah, there it is. 99 meters away. That's what I suspected. Where's that glowing boat flag on? I saw it a moment ago. Must be behind a building. Well, that's good. We can take care of this without getting into too much trouble. That would be great. Oop. Whoa. There's the cat. I heard some machine gun fire. Fortunately, I'm under the cover of storm, which means they're not going to come after me too. I'm not going to be really noticeable. You know what, a sludgy mess. Alright, come on, you silly cat. Let's go home. Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. Yeah. Isn't it fortunate that the cat understands English like that? Terribly fortunate, if you ask me. Well, what's going on over there? Oh, there's some bugs over there. Taking out that blood bug would not be a terrible thing, but not really terribly necessary either. Okay. That worked out okay. That takes care of that part. Let's get up to the vault. And get on with it. Cat taken care of. Boy attacked by mole rat. Quest continues. And quest... Yeah. 
should be good. I just wish I had a better close range weapon on me right now. Stay out of trouble. Yeah, jeez. Stay out of trouble, he says, every time. Stay okay. safe. Hello, dog meat. Did you get stuck in here? Good stuff. Everybody's here. Okay. Time to head into Vault 81B. Also known as, here's where we're doing the real experiments. You want a good meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. She'll hook you up. Austin got himself bit by a mole rat. So now they got us cooped up in here to watch Aaron. It's ridiculous. All right. Ashes! Yep. There you go. You got your cat. Awesome. All right, let's go have a word, find out what's going on with regards to... I'll be damned if that whole duct isn't going to need replacing. Oh. Don't try anything. It is up a floor. Apparently... I don't know about you, but I can't stand to see any of those young and sick. Oh, I guess I should. Ashes! I'm exhausted. I hope I can get some. Come on, kid. Tonight. Keep walking, outsider. Just because you wear a vault suit doesn't mean you're one of us. Yeah, chillax. You just hold me that wrench. Let's see. Apparently, Aaron doesn't want to talk right now. Okay, she's stuck in a wall or something. All right, let's just go finish the Save Austin quest. Because I'm sure there's something we need to do here. Down another level. You have to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there. So I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault. Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. Okay. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? Yeah, sure. I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you okay. find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. All right. Time to go. Watch this guy run into walls. Come on, bud. Let's go. Be quick and find that cure. Yep. A hole in the wall. Check. Okay. Go, go, go. Come on, Preston and dog meat. Let's go. Okay.
interesting. Huh. Alright. Here we go. Secret Vault 81. All right. So we're looking for mole rat related trouble here. Where's dog meat? Dag nabbit dog meat. All right. What were you people up to in here? Other than giving mole rats lots and lots of places to go. Are you seriously, Preston? I guess you were in that bad of a shape. I could use another one of those if you can spare it. Psst. What is it? Why don't I let's see what happens if I trade him a uh, stim pack just for kicks? Just one. Of course, it. Into the open and identify yourself. All abiding citizens have nothing to fear. Interesting. Oh, I hope there's some good first aid stuff in here. This place should be relatively. Okay, that was a turret. This area cleared. Proceeding with search protocol. All right, where is it? There is definitely a robot around here somewhere. Attention. Oh crap. Oh boy, that's bad. Shoot. Come on, walk, damn you. Oh boy. Okay. Come on, big guy. Keep going. 